It's no secret to anyone that the situation with the Marvel studio is not super promising right now, as they have already started their fifth phase, and Kevin Feige and his team have yet to find the right path to bring the cinematic universe back to the success it had after Endgame. It has even gotten to the point where Mark Ruffalo, a veteran of the MCU, who is also known for not being able to keep his mouth shut, acknowledged the dire situation within the studio and then let slip that Marvel bosses are planning to fix the situation by bringing back the original Avengers. Hello everyone. This is more with stars and we're getting started. So, if you don't understand why everyone is talking about problems at Marvel right now here's a brief explanation. Yes, the MCU remains the largest budget and most profitable movie franchise in the world, but if you compare, for example, the just finished fourth phase to the previous third phase, it's clear that the last few years have not been very successful for Feige and company. The studio's new projects haven't been received as well by audiences as their previous films. Box office profits have significantly decreased, and the once almost routine figure of $1 billion in box office revenue from each new project has become almost unattainable again. The start of the fifth phase hasn't really helped the situation either. The new Ant-Man and the Wasp not only turned out to be one of the studio's lowest-rated blockbusters in its 15-year history, but it also showed the most significant drop in revenue between the first and second weeks. And even though the movie's overall box office revenue is currently around $420 million, it still doesn't cover the colossal production and advertising budget of the film. It is also $200 million behind the previous Ant-Man movie's box office numbers. So, I think you can agree that Marvel is not having the best of times right now. Mark Ruffalo, who plays Hulk, seems to agree with this as well. Furthermore, he appears to be the first actor who openly acknowledged it. Ruffalo believes that DC is on the right track by hiring James Gunn to reboot their films, and Marvel should step up their game in response to this news, as the studio is currently not in a position to oppose them. Ruffalo recently made headlines for expressing his opinion that Marvel should work harder. In an interview at Emerald City Comic Con about what DC could do regarding their reboot, the actor who plays the Hulk responded. I would say hire James Gunn because nobody does it better. And Marvel should step up because James Gunn is really an amazing director, and I think he's going to be great for DC. The actor also hinted that Marvel is currently lacking fresh talent, opinions, perspectives, and so on. Thus, Mark Ruffalo not only acknowledged that the MCU lacks suitable personnel to create something truly worthwhile, but also noted the departure of Gunn, who originally worked in the MCU and was later expelled for a completely silly reason. However, the spoiler-loving actor didn't stop there and made another statement that was immediately quoted. Specifically, the actor talked about what the public has been gossiping about for a long time, that realizing the dismal situation, Marvel bosses and even Disney want to reintroduce Captain America and Tony Stark, beloved characters who were absent from the cinematic universe. So Mark Ruffalo may have inadvertently let slip that Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans will return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe while headlining the Emerald City Comic Con event. During the Q&A session, the actor was asked how he felt about losing the characters of Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans. In response, Mark said it was sad, but anything can happen. Then the actor listed several ways the studio could bring back the two characters, including time traveler jumping between multiple dimensions, and then seemed to try to justify himself by saying he's not saying it's definitely going to happen. And then he added, but I'm not saying it's not going to happen. In short, Mark Ruffalo is in his element, never a day without spoilers. Although it could be said before that this was just ordinary actor talk, Mark is known precisely for often revealing actual plans, and secondly, there have been a lot of talks lately about the comeback of Tony and Cap. So, as it seems to me, there's no smoke without fire. You can share your opinion on this topic in the comments right now, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thank you all for watching, see you next time.